Inside my public HTML folder, I have a subdirectory called child theme. And inside this subdirectory, I have a WordPress installed. Let's look inside here, inside WP content and themes. You can see three theme folders. They correspond to the three themes that are installed in my WordPress, as you can see from the dashboard here. I'm going to create a new folder. I'll name it 2015-child because it will be a child theme based off of the active 2015 theme. I need to create a style sheet and at codex.wordpress.org slash child themes you can grab this style sheet header and put that in your style sheet. There will be a link to the codex.wordpress page below this video. Be sure to call the style sheet style.css. After we've pasted in the style sheet header, we need to add this line here. This line is actually calling in the style sheet from the 2015 parent theme. Let's go back into the 2015-child folder and upload the style sheet that we just created. Okay, that's it. If we refresh our theme page in the dashboard, you can see our new custom child theme. Let's add a cover. Be sure that the photo is in PNG format and that it's named screenshot.png. It's actually that easy. Let's refresh again. As you can see, we've created our own custom child theme. I'm going to activate that theme. And if we refresh our home page again, you can see that the CSS has taken. Let's make some CSS edits now. Opening Chrome Inspector, I can see that this div here has an ID of sidebar. I'm going to click the plus button here to create this div and sidebar selector. And I'll add some basic styles. Let's change the background color. Remember that if I refresh the page, we lose the change. Let's go into our style sheet and add it for real. All we do is paste in the style. And back to the front page. And as you can see, when we refresh the page, the style is taken.